I think we go ahead and say it. Christmas has arrived early here in the People Now Studios because we've got two of Bravo's Ladies of London here, Sophie Stanberry and Julie Montague. Welcome to New Welcome. York. Welcome. So you good to see you both. Too. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's, yeah, so let's get right into it. So, Julie, on last week's episode, we saw you hosting Friends at the beautiful Mavericks yes. Day, which was gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. But you ran into some drama when Caroline Stanberry showed up hours late, started hours. stirring up some things. Hours. Why do you think? <laughs> with an S. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why do you think she has such an issue with you? Um. I, I think it's obviously she she doesn't like that um, she doesn't like the aristocracy anymore or at least being she feels like she's being noosed or she doesn't like she just doesn't like any of it and that was clearly obvious in the episode that she wanted nothing to do with it and so for me it was sort of like well why did you even accept the invitation in the first place mm. because if you know because Caroline says she comes from aristocracy she grew up this way and that she you know doesn't want any part of it yet she knew that that's exactly what I was what I'm doing yeah, at right, 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 right. so if you don't like it why come and so I just felt like throughout the episode it, everything she was doing was just to let me know that she hated it. <laughs> it's, but, but, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, she's sort of seeing everything through a very specific and very passionate filter, right? There, there, there's yeah. no doubt about that. And Sophie, you were married to Caroline's brother, so you've known her for many years. Mm -hmm. What do you think causes her to get into confrontations with so many people? I mean, I just think if you set something off in her, she is going to go for you. And, you know, there's, there's no kind of Middle gray ground. area. Yeah, yeah. It's either it's hot or cold and, really fun, yeah. really cool, or like, stop. Stop doing that, and she'll go, just go for you. So I think there's, there's, it's kind of difficult. You know, you don't know what's going to push her buttons, sure. and, and that really did push yeah. her buttons. You don't know what's going to push her button beforehand, but afterwards, you definitely know what pushes. Oh her. yeah, oh I knew. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, the seating yeah. arrangement was maybe pushing their buttons a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to, you know, basically put out a couple olive branches because I just thought, but the looks on their faces when I sat them next to me was brilliant. That made my whole weekend. Yeah. I was so happy. It and was everyone really watching brilliant. as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually just had uh, Juliet and Caroline here, and Juliet claimed that you use friends' secrets and weaknesses against them. Were you surprised that Juliet took Caroline's side like this? I mean, why do you think she's doing that? And wh what do you make of those comments? Do you know when Juliet comments about me, I just don't comment back. I don't. I don't. I don't have anything to do with Juliet, so I, she can keep going and attacking me and attacking me. I'm just not going to stoop to that level and attack her back. She can have her opinion, but. I don't really care what Juliet thinks about me, if I'm perfectly honest. <laughs> Julie, do you think Caroline is perhaps just jealous of you? Is that a possibility? I, do, you know, I, I don't think Caroline is jealous of me, okay. if I'm perfectly honest. I really don't think. I just think that Caroline, um, she just didn't like any of it. You know, yeah. I, I, it was hard for me to figure out why she came so late. But you were about to say something. Yeah, I was just going to say I think when Caroline starts getting rubbed up the wrong way, which to be perfectly honest, I didn't realize was happening until she told me a bit later. But I think the more you rub her up the wrong way, the more she's going to explode. And I think her explosions just came out little bit by little bit throughout that whole. Episode. Yeah, I'm just not sure how I rubbed her up the wrong way. No, I thought didn't. the weekend was great. I think it was, <laughs> it was it me and Adela. Just seems right. fun. You were fun. Yeah, I think it was me and Adela. I, I, you know, I, I didn't intentionally rub her up the wrong way, but I rubbed her up the wrong way, then Adela, and then having the rules and the noose. And I if think you were just... late on the list of rubbing her the wrong way, then it was really bad news. Yeah. I mean, how could you have a bad time at such a beautiful place? Right. That's I what I. Like. And I mean, you know, and the rules. I mean, they're not. They weren't hardcore rules. There were two: don't yeah. smoke in the house, and which is fair enough. Which is fair yeah. enough. And right. actually, the rule was: don't lie to my face and tell me that you're going to go out <laughs> and smoke. And, right? And then secondly, if you don't like the food, don't make it like a cafeteria line at a formal dining table and pass it around the table and say, I'll have some of your vegetables. Hand me this. That's what Juliet was doing. Yeah. That was it. But Two it was also rules. said, and you said it in and a fun way. Fun, I, I, I don't think you meant way. to say you've got to behave <laughs> was, like this. And, it's and it was just. It's anyway. pretty bad. Like you said, yeah. it's pretty yeah. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sophie, uh, this season takes viewers mm -hmm. inside your split from your husband Alex. Yes. Um, you know, with Caroline's brother. Yeah. I mean, how hard was this to put this out there publicly? It was horrible. It was really horrible because I think at the time we were filming, it was so raw. And obviously, I have two little boys, so I had them in the back of my mind the whole time that we were filming, thinking, I don't want them to watch this and feel a certain way. And I think, you know, when you're in the moment, Alex and I went through lots of highs and lows. We're in a really good place now. I mean, the boys adore their father. He's a great dad. And I think that's really what we have to keep as our end goal, is well, that we have to be amicable for our boys. Yeah. But yeah, there I was going to ask about that. And it's nice to hear that they're doing well and that, yes. and that you and him and Alex are in a good place now. They're with as, him now. As, yeah. as we said before. with their cousins. They're yeah. having the time of their life. And Alex, you know, he's amazing with them. 
I think at this next episode that airs, you know, it's it's a bit negative. We were in a very very negative place, so I, I you know, I feel sad having to watch that again. Um, but he's a great dad. Yeah. And he's, sad to watch that again, yeah. but nice to know that you've moved on from it. In real I'm, life, yeah. you yes. are beyond that in a good place. Exactly. It's just kind of hard because there's that lag of right. watching. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah.